Hi, I'm Mike Meyerhofer, uh, Director of Technology at Liberty Oil Field Services. I'm going to talk to you today about selecting surfactants that we use in frac fluids to squeeze more oil out of rock. Traditionally, surfactants have been used to improve uh, recovery of load water from your frac fluids by reducing interfacial tension, but there's also an additional mechanism that we can look at that's borrowed from enhanced oil recovery processes to use surfactants to maybe get more oil out of the rock and improve oil recoveries. So when we're fracking, the fluid leak off into the rock from the fracturing fluid is gonna invade into your formation and then potentially, eventually imbibe into the rock. So the good thing with that process could be that if if the water with the surfactant imbibes into the rock, it could potentially change the wettability of the rock, transforming oil wet pores into more water wet pores, which results in expulsion of more oil and you can get additional oil production back to the well. So a particular surfactant could be used to make that work. Um, the applications would be in the main fracturing treatment, but we could also use it in preloads or active protect when we're protecting from frac hits, which is a big discussion these days in our industry. Um, the measurement of interfacial tension, the lab setup is pretty simple. It's really just squeezing an oil bubble into a solution of water and surfactant and having a high speed camera record the bubble size that is created. Uh, of the oil embedded in the, in the water and surfactant. The bubble size is proportional to the interfacial tension. Here's an example of measurements uh, of a Wolfcamp oil, uh, the interfacial tension measurements versus five different surfactants at different concentrations from a half to two GPT. And you can argue here that uh, probably surfactant A is the best performing in terms of interfacial tension reduction. But surfactant C may also be plausible. It's a, it's a lower cost option compared to surfactant A. But more importantly for this enhanced oil recovery mechanism, the contact angle is a good measure of uh, rock weight ability. We have found that it correlates reasonably well with more comprehensive core imbibition and oil expulsion tests. The test up is similar to the interfacial tension, but in this case, we are using a small rock chip of maybe a centimeter in length by, by about 0.2 centimeters. And that uh, chip is saturated in oil, and then we place an oil bubble on that rock chip that's also embedded in the water and surfactant. And then we can determine a contact angle from that to determine the wettability of the rock. Here's an example from the wolf camp again. On the left side, you see a carbonate rich wolf camp. Distilled water is the blue bar. So really, uh, the contact angle change is the ability of the surfactant to change the rock wet ability from a more uh, oil wet system to a water wet system, which can expel the oil. So what you see on the left, the carbonate rich wolf camp, uh, you could argue that surfactant C uh, achieves the most contact angle reduction. So 105 contact angle degrees would be considered everything above oil wet and anything below 75 degree contact angle water wet and in between intermediate wet. So surfactant C seems to do the best job at all concentrations. But it's also a function of mineralogy. So if you go to the right slide, you can argue that in a quartz rich wolf camp, surfactant E may be the best but it's a very high cost surfactant. So it may be acceptable to have a lower cost surfactant such as surfactant C as the best way uh, to change the rock wettability at lowest cost. Surfactant A, which performed best on an interfacial tension, also seems to fit that bill on the wettability change, but it is an extremely expensive surfactant. So at the end of the day, it's really a combination of potentially mineralogy, but more importantly, cost will always affect and impact the uh, surfactant selection. So in summary, interfacial tension and contact angle measurements are very good indicators for surfactant selection. Uh, contact angle measurements have been shown to correlate very well with comprehensive core imbibition and oil expulsion tests, but they are much faster, more efficient, and cheaper to perform. 
Liberty can perform all these tests for you and help you select the best surfactant type with the lowest cost. And then, of course, there still needs to be validation field testing done to make sure that if in, in reality we're actually seeing the additional oil recoveries based on the used surfactant. So thank you again for listening. I'm Mike Meyerhofer, and for more information, please refer to our website at libertyfrac.com. Thank you.